All right, welcome back everyone to yet another installation of the Unreal Soulsborne completely free multiplayer combat tutorial series. Uh, so we're just gonna continue with uh, the uh, weapon system that we're doing right now. Uh, before we jump into it, I just want to say thanks to all the subscribers. I usually forget to mention that because we are at like 843 as of this moment, which is fucking amazing. I think last time I said tornado. something about it, you don't have tornado, right? 5, 600, Hurricane? so it's actually no. a lot more now, like 500 Sometime? more, or 200 it's more, storm. which is amazing. Um, oh, sorry. This? Just started a meditation video in the background there. Uh, so yeah, 840 subscribers, amazing. Uh, pretty soon we're gonna be at 1,000, which is huge. I never thought it would be more than like 200 or something. So thank, thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It makes me very happy. Anyway, so what we got right now is um, in the last video, we set up this uh, item that we can pick up. We now have it on our back, as you can see, and it's completely replicated. As you can see, if we enter the client there, you can see, I think you can see at least. Uh, so yeah, and also when we go here, we can see that the weapon is disappeared, so it was destroyed. Uh, so that's what we have with our weapon system right now. And also we have our movement system going on with the sprinting and yada, yada, yada. Still a little bit, bit of stuff that needs some cleanup later, but we're just gonna be focusing on the item system for now. So what we want to do now is basically we want to be able to equip uh, when we pick it up, should we add a pickup animation maybe? Let's add a quick pickup animation and let's also add uh, like equip animation to put the weapon in our hand. I think that's going to be enough for this video and then we're probably going to start with attacks and things like that after that. So I have some animations. Uh, I grabbed this animation from Mixamo. So if you go to Mixamo, as I've shown you in a previous video, and just uh, search for equip, or if you have your own animation, you will get this one for free. And I also have this pickup, which is also from anim uh, Mixamo. It's a little bit weird. It does like that in the end, so I'll probably cut it maybe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I can clean that up later. Uh, so let's add this. So let's start by adding this animation. So uh, for picking up, so enter the animation. Make sure it's root motion enabled. Okay, this is fucking weird. Uh, actually, it's not. Uh, yours probably not gonna be like that. Sorry, it's me just playing around with them before. Uh, so we have this animation, enable root motion, perfect, and we are gonna be, I do, I get a little bit annoyed by that twitch, so let's try to fix it, see if we can fix it. If we go to somewhere before he starts doing it, and, and pop, 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 select the spine, add a keyframe here. And we're gonna apply it and as you can see he's rotating the spine we're gonna try to unrotate it so make another keyframe there and i guess this is spine two and let's see how that looks it's still fucking weird but it's i think it's better at least I'm not sure. He does this weird thing with his leg now instead. Fuck it. I'm just gonna keep it like that. You can you can mess around with that on your own time. I'm not gonna spend that much time on the video to do that. Uh, right click, create animation montage. You have seen me do this before. Go into your player character, and we are gonna find where we do the pickup logic. Uh, I think it's E, right? E key. Uh, and did, 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 did. here we go. 
there we go perfect so when we pick up the weapon if it's valid and everything and we set the quick weapon we are also gonna play montage and we already got our server play montage function from before from doing the rolls and things like that and we're just gonna drag in this up equip object so that's nice that's basically this function is very repeatable for us it's basically a replicated play montage um, so let's see how that looks nothing happens that's because we probably just need to save everything again okay yeah perfect so the montage is playing uh, there are several ways to do this either you could do an animation notifier like when the weapon is equipped like that uh, I'm not gonna do that I am just gonna delay I'm just gonna delay for one second how long is the animation Two sec, 2.2 seconds, so one is probably nice. Also, we should do it the other way around. So, play the montage first, and then we delay before equ actually equipping the weapon. Maybe this is going for a too realistic approach because he's gonna pick up the weapon it's gonna be on his back it should probably land in the hand uh, but yeah this is fine for now I think yeah let's go with that for now uh, maybe you could do like in Zelda or something when you're like uh, pick up and show the weapon item above your head or something and then it's equipped to your inventory uh, anyway now we have a quick equip animation let's do the sorry a quick pickup animation let's also do a um, equip weapon animation right so we have this equip uh, is also the root um, some of these animations when you import them they have a really weird position as you can see he's lying down and I haven't modified anything so if you just enable root motion he should return to the original position so it's a root motion animation so that's fine so this is going to be the equip animation bum, 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 bum. so there are a few ways to do this um, what we are going to do is uh, equip over the shoulder how do we do this right click create any montage mm. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to play this in the upper body only because when you 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 want to be able to move basically because it's going to be annoying if you're forced to stand still while you equip the weapon. That's just going to be annoying. So you should be able to move still when equipping the weapon. So to do that we need to make sure that it's only playing in the upper body and not in the lower body at all so because the legs should still be able to move uh, so we need to create a new slot uh, bup, 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 bup. how do I do that 
I don't remember. Anim slot manager, as you can see here. We're gonna add a slot. And we're gonna call this upper body. Because you already have this default slot. And we're gonna do an upper body slot. And we are gonna go into your animation blueprint. And you are gonna find your animation graph. And basically what you can see here is you can see we have this default slot. So the animations that are played in this default slot. We also need to get the upper slot. If you grab this, another one of these, you can just copy it as well. Or just right click and type slot default. And select it. And you have this, and now we have this upper body that we just created, the upper body slot. Perfect. Um, and we want to separate them. Basically, what we want to do here is we want to separate because the upper body slot should only all animations that are coming into the upper body slot that have this selected, they should only be played from the spine zero and upwards or from the spine zero two and upwards or whatever you want to. Um, so, so you're gonna need to find this layered blend per bone node. I don't think this is how you should do it, to be honest. Let me just pause the video and check one thing. Are we recording now again? Yes, we are, great. I was like, did I did I accidentally delete my recording? Uh, so yeah, it's great for me to be able to pause and check things uh, uh, in the documentation because sometimes I am not entirely sure what I have done before. So sometimes I need to go into my older projects and have a look on how I actually did stuff because nobody remembers everything. Anyway. Um, so what were we doing? What you need to do here is basically we have this default slot which plays basically all of our animations. So you need you want to save that information and play it in here. So save if you just type save new saved cache post, and we're gonna call this um, default cache, uh, and then you want to grab the def default use cached post use cached post default cache which is this one and you want to have that as the base post and then we also want to mix it with this upper body post this is some confusing stuff this is why this is an advanced tutorial <laughs> series so don't be sad if you cannot follow along i'm gonna try to explain it one more time so basically what happened, because this took me a while to figure out. You have the default slot, basically. The default slot plays all of our animations that are assigned to the default slot. That's most of our animations. Uh, or most of our root motion animations. And we have this upper body slot. And all the animations that are from the upper body slot are now gonna be played in this line. And all the other animation would have default cache cache will be played as the base post. So basically what's going to happen now is we are going to blend these two animations. So basically if you select this layer blend per bone and you add an array element and the bone name where we are blending is going to be spine underscore zero one. And just to show you, if you go into your skeleton and you select spine zero one. This is the spine zero one, basically. So this is where we are blending the animations. So from this uh, equip animation, ah, oh, sorry. Uh, so from this equip animation, as you can see, he's moving the, the legs in the animation as well. But since we are now only playing this from the Oh, sorry, it's still on the default slot. It's gonna be the 
So we created the upper body slot, but we also need to assign this. As you can see, it's playing in the default slot. You need to assign it to the upper body slot. It returns to the T-pose, so just close and reopen. Sorry, close and reopen. And it should be back. So now it's only going to play in the upper body slot, as you can see now. So the only this animation won't play the things that are happening below spine 01, which is there. So it will only play the stuff that is happening up here because we are assigning it the upper body slot here. So spine 01, and then we go to the output put pose, we save it. Uh, why doesn't it? Did, did, did. The source is visible but ignored. Don't think that matters. I have not seen that before. Let's hope it doesn't matter. I don't think so. Slot upper body. It shouldn't matter. Yeah, it, it does actually. What we need to do is we need to grab this, use the cached pose, cached pose, and you need to plug that in as well. There we go. Sorry. So the base animation is still going to be the default slot. That's right. That's how we're supposed to do it. Perfect. So now that we have that set up, uh, let's go into our player character and let's do Q key. Q key is from now on our equip. <coughs> Let's just see if it works. So from the Q key, we are gonna be playing our equip animation. Compile, save everything, and let's go. Bam. So it's working. Picking up the weapon, but it's still it is using the root animation. I'm just gonna check if that works. Hmm. Pop, pop, pop. Maybe it shouldn't be a root motion animation. <coughs> Because the root motion actually locks it. Okay, let's just see what happens. <coughs> okay, so yeah, uh, that works. Just to recap what happened, uh, basically, uh, we are still playing here. Since it's a root motion animation, it still locks the uh, speed of the character because it's not moving the root bone. Uh, so fuck root motion, just and uh, go into the uh, equipment or, or the equip animation and disable root motion. As I said before, some uh, animations start in weird positions when you import them from Mixamo. What you could do is you could either, oops, sorry, not spine. Uh, you could either just go to the uh, root bone and realign the character like this and keyframe it. As you can see, now it's gonna be the right position. It doesn't really matter uh, in this case because we're still only using it, uh, the normal as the base. There we go, and there we go. Looking a little shaky there, so we are gonna go into here and we are gonna try spine zero two because it's a little bit further up. And that might look a little bit better. Uh, also, as I said, we're using completely free animations, so obviously this is not gonna be like the absolutely best looking stuff that you have ever seen. I think it's fine though. Uh, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we are gonna go to the asset details and we are gonna up the rate scale to something, 2.3 maybe. The rate scale is the speed of the animation. We should do that with the pickup as well maybe because it's very, very slow. 
it's still very slow uh, let's do 1.5 sorry if I'm moving fast here and let's do that for the pickup as well the pickup should be at 1.3 perfect so the rate scale as you can see here is the speed of the animation so you can both slow it and and quick and quicken it picking up I still feel it's very slow but that's probably fine uh, the right the left hand is going completely crazy uh, I guess that's fine it's looking a little bit weird I would like to get a better animation uh, I don't feel that I should waste time in the video to actually get another better looking animation so I might do that in the in between videos in between videos um, of course you are free to use whatever animation you want to I would suggest on, on Mixamo there are a couple of equip animations actually so if you're using Mixamo and want to keep sticking to free animations for prototyping or whatever uh, so try out a few because it's nice if it looks nice uh, now we should actually make sure that the weapon gets thrown to the or moves from the back to the hand as well so if you go back to your skeleton we're gonna Here we go. So from now on, we need to decide what direction these this game should be going with. Um, I think for a sword, this animation could still work, right? Because we don't have any sword sword movement. Uh, I think this is gonna be fine for now. course you could do different movement for different movesets uh, for different weapons um, what I do in my game is I use the same base uh, I use the same base running animation for for everything and then uh, different running styles with different weapons in the upper body as well so when I have a huge sword I have it on my shoulder and so on but let's do just for now uh, let's Let's stick to the same animation just to, to get the equip weapon function going. And then a little bit further down, we'll start with different movement sets, depending on which weapon you are actually wielding. Probably. Um, so yeah, in your skeleton preview I'm just gonna do a run preview here uh, I'm not sure which running animation I'm using but this is fine uh, I'm gonna select my right hand I'm gonna right click and add a socket and we are gonna call this a Equip underscore sword. You can call it whatever you want to. Of course, I'm sticking to the same terminology as you can see. Unequip sword is my unequip animation, and my equip animation is hence equip underscore sword, so that it's in the same kind of way, so that we don't get confused later. So add a preview mesh to add preview asset. We are gonna. I'm not even sure what we call it sword we are gonna like that and like that and like that there we go that's looking pretty nice right so there we are running with our sword in our hand uh, and So yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. 
two. Did I remove? I removed something from here, right? My blueprint. What's it called? Uh, view. Window. Palette. No. Not the palette. Uh, I removed my character. Um, components. Yeah, components. Sorry. There we go. So we have the main hand mesh here, right? So what we want to do is this is when we pick it up, the main hand mesh is on our back. Uh, and what we want to do is basically when we pick it up, we want to uh, uh, move it to our hand or not when we pick it up, when we equip it, sorry. So from Q, we are playing the animation, which is this one. We are probably going to delay like you could do this with animation notifiers from the animation as well, but I find this way actually to be easier. So 0 0.2 is probably fine. Uh, we are going to grab our main hand mesh. We are going to move component 2. Nope. We are going to attach component. Attach component to component. Because this is a component, which is our main hand mesh. And we are going to parent it to the mesh, which is our character mesh. And the socket location is going to be the equip underscore sword, which is the um, which is the um, uh, socket that we just made. This is not replicated, so we need to replicate it. Uh, I think we did a rep notifier, or did we? For the uh, equip. Uh, where do we have the functions? Um, weapon pickup. Okay, no, we... Uh, play animation montage. Did, 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 did. Weapon pickup. Server set weapon. Exactly, yeah. So that's a um, rep notify. Uh, I'm just gonna figure out how we do this. It was a week ago since I <laughs> did the video. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. Basically, what we want to do is we just want to move it to the uh, uh, hand. So we should do a in the I'm just gonna attach component to component. Um, we should do like this. Basically, We want to be able to use this function again. What we could do is uh, there are several ways to do this actually. I'm just trying to figure out which one is easiest. Mm. We could just get this. We want to break it, break details. <coughs> okay, so we have this equip slot name. So this is the one we want to use, right? So uh, and to do that. So if you go into the item that we created the last time, you have this sword and we have this weapon details. You go in here and you have the unequip underscore sword. Change the equip slot name to equip underscore sword. Perfect. So that's now the um, uh, animation that we, uh, or that's 
the slot name from here now. Perfect. So that's fine. So it's not going to be replicated now, but let's just see so it's actually working. So we pick up the weapon and we press Q. And you can see that it's going to the hand, but it's not going to be replicated. It's still in the on the back there, as you can see. Uh, so that's expected behavior. Um, and we could clearly see that 0 0.2 was way too slow. So let's do 0 0.5 or way too fast, was it? So let's do 0 0.5. Uh, pick up this sword. There we go. That's better. It's snapping a little bit, but we can clean that up in a later video. So now you can see we are actually, we are holding our sword in the hand at least. Uh, so, what are we gonna do now? We are gonna be replicating it, basically. So, we could just multicast it which is might actually, there are two ways to do that. We could multicast it, but multicast is the lazy way to do it. The correct way to do it is to actually make another rep notifier, to be honest. So let's just do that. Uh, create a new variable, uh, call it um, equip um, equip Weapon in hand. No. Fuck it. Let's call it. Um, weapon in hand. Weapon in hand. And let's create a. Make it a Boolean. And let's create a rep notify from it. We. We went into rep notifiers a little bit last time, so basically what we want to do here is uh, on rep weapon in hand, which is this one that we just created. Uh, grab your uh, copy it in here. So, rep notifiers only update when we change the value, right? So before we actually, so what we want to do here is inside this rep notifier, we want to make a check. So weapon in hand, is it true or false? So if weapon in hand is false, which means that the weapon is on the back, then we want to move it to the hand, right? But if we are unequipping, then we want to move it from the hand to the back, right? So then we will do the opposite. And you will drag from there instead. Unequip slot name. So we can delete this now. So basically, you want to do the same here. If weapon is in hand, if weapon is not in hand, you want to set it to be in hand. No, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so, if weapon is not in hand, you want to set it to be in hand. And if weapon is in hand, you want to set it to not being in hand. And then inside the function, we have changed it. So this one is going to be the opposite now, sorry. So it should be like this. Let's swap them around. I think so. This is this is some confusing stuff for for me. So basically, if we follow along this line, when we equip, we play the montage, we wait 0 0.5 seconds, then we check if the weapon is in hand. If the weapon is in hand, that means we're gonna unequip it. 
So then we set this notifier to be false, right? And the same moment that we set it to be false, it's gonna initiate this function. It's gonna go in here, and since we just set this one to be false, it's gonna follow the line of being false, and it's gonna be moving the weapon to the unequip slot name. I realized I, between videos before I saw that the, since I swapped to OBS Studios, um, I think that the visual quality might have gone down. So sorry if the video quality is poor. I'm gonna check that after the video. I, I completely forgot. Anyway, and uh, the other side. And if the weapon is not in the hand, we're gonna set it to being in the hand which means this is gonna be returning true and we're gonna move the weapon to our hand. Let's see if that works. Picking the weapon up, bam, 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 bam. It's snapping a little bit. Let's move it to our hand. Let's see if our guy sees it. It does not work. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna see why that doesn't work, but let's see how it looks. The animation is working, but the notifier is not firing off. Okay. Uh, why is, isn't the notifier firing off? <coughs> Rep notify. We are not gonna be keeping relative. We are gonna snap the target. I don't think that's the problem here though. Uh, can we print? We can print string. I just wanna see if it's, I just wanna see if it's calling. Maybe it's a problem of it's being, of the value not changing, it should should not be that but let's check it out I'm picking it up going over here it is being called client 2 client 2 it's only being called on the client side so it's not replicating um, Maybe it's because this should start as true. That might be the case, even though. No, no, it's not changing at all. This is some hard stuff sometimes. Let's go in and see. We know that it's calling. Why isn't it replicating? Is it because it is a rep notify? No, it's not. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, let me pause. I will uh, troubleshoot and be right back. All right, so I just paused the video a second ago. I don't even need to uh, to uh, look this up because I just realized what it is. Uh, I'm tired and stupid. That's what it is because we are not calling this anywhere. We need to call it on the server. That's why. So just create a new event, custom event, server, uh, set weapon in hand, and run on server, make it reliable in this case, uh, and we need to call this from here, like this. All right, and then just server set weapon in that. 
so it needs to be called on the server. Uh, I really hope this is the <laughs> solution now because otherwise it's gonna be awkward. Because uh, I bragged about knowing what it was. Equip. Yeah, there we go. Bam. So super easy fix. Sometimes you just get stuck on small stuff, so don't feel bad about that. Um, it's all just that, that's the way life is, I guess. It should just get stuck on small stuff all the time. So just back to the basics. Take it, take it easy. Review your code. Chill out. Take a big breath, and you will find the solution. Uh, as you can see, it's working fine now. So, that's a nice episode, I think. 40 minutes. I think I did a, a well-deserved job. I think I did a good job explaining with the cachet post and everything. It's looking quite nice. Remember, everything is still free, which is amazing. All of this can be created for free with the Unreal Engine. Uh, and now, just recently, you get... You can now have the mega scans assets that are completely free as well. And I just read like a second ago that Unreal is actually making um, Houdini free as well. So Epic acquired Houdini, I think. So, so much tools with this thing that are completely free. It's freaking amazing, to be honest. Uh, so we'll see how far this get, uh, goes. I will probably do like some level design videos in the future as well with Quixel assets or something, just to show you what you can create for free as well. So yeah, not sure. Nothing more to add in this episode. I think we we did a good job. Let me know in the questions uh, again if you have. Uh, let me know in the comments comments again if you have any questions and once again if you are new to the channel and stick stuck with the video this far please like and subscribe and tell all your friends about me and yeah have a good evening people see you in the next video